The 108th Pennsylvania Farm Show is in full swing and the animals are definitely a fan favorite, especially for our very own Fox 43's Tyler Hatfield. He's joining us live in Harrisburg with more on the furry friends you can see, plus their importance to Pennsylvania agriculture. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, guys. So we saw some rabbits, we saw some goats, and now we're at the calving corner to see some baby calves that were just born yesterday afternoon. Take a look at these guys. We're at the calving corner at the Pennsylvania Farm Show, and I'm joined here with Angie. She is a calf manager at Shrek Farms. And Angie, you're one of the host farms that are here yes. at the Pennsylvania Farm Show, showing off your cows. And there's actually one giving birth right over there. There is one giving birth right now. We're right. not far away from the baby being out, actually. Yep. So we have these screens up there. You can see a whole bunch of people are crowding around to see the birth of the cow. But we want to talk about these baby calves. These were born okay. yesterday afternoon. So, but there's a difference between the two. Yes. We have a Holstein and an Angus Cross. Um, Eric here is a little boy, and Maggie over there is our little bouncing baby girl. And how does it feel to be a host family here at the Pennsylvania Farm Show, showing off the dairy industry and how important it is to Pennsylvania? It's an honor to show off what we do every day. Um, these miracles of birth, we get to see on our farm about five times a day. Um, so showing the public what we do is very important to us, so that they understand why we do what we do with our animals. And let's talk about the impact of the dairy industry too in Pennsylvania. I mean, it's the most important agriculture yes. aspect. Yes. Um, uh, the dairy industry, a uh, lot of jobs. Um, Just so much going on here. And let's talk about too, you have an interesting fact. Shrack Farms is one of the oldest family farms in Pennsylvania. Yes, our farm has been in our family since 1773. Um, William Penn is actually on, his name is on the deed to our farm. We are the 11th generation of dairy farmers to farm on our plot of land. Um, my children will be the 12th generation. We have three generations of family that work together on our farm every day. And, and like, how does that feel to be a part, 11 generations, I mean, that is so, that's so important, especially just knowing that you've brought her all here in Pennsylvania. It's an honor and it's very special to me to know that my children will be taking over all of the hard work that we do every day. Um, that is our legacy that our children get to take that over. And you saw so many families, so many kids were coming around seeing these oh, baby yeah. cats. How does that make you feel to see them smile? Oh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. To see everyone's face um, when the babies are born is just so special. They're so excited. Now, when would they be able to get them out? This is another interesting fact. You know, right now, they were just born, but in soon, they will be able to be the moms. So um, Maggie there will be our replacement cow. Um, so in 22 months, she will have a baby, um, and she will start producing milk on our farm. And then she will be the one. And then there. she <laughs> could be the one over there. Exactly. <laughs> she will be the one giving birth. Yeah. So, Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Thank and you. The farm show runs until this Saturday, January 13th. You're going to want to stick around. There's so many things to see. Um, and you can head to our website, fivesports3.com, for more ways you can see any of the farm animals and so much more fun here at the Pennsylvania Farm Show. So, Gabby, Danielle, so many animals. I feel like a farmer right now, too. A little bit. <laughs> well, a little bit. Tyler, the first um, calf that was born was named Snowflake because yes. it was snowing on Saturday. What would you name the calf that's about to get born right now? Ooh, Ooh that's a good question. What would I name it? Well, I would name it Tyler because <laughs> I'm here and it's giving birth when I'm here. <laughs> okay, okay. I was thinking like windy or rainy no, no. or something. Yeah, sprinkle. <laughs> Sprinkles. No. Just or, Tyler. Or Sean Stryker. Let's name him Sean Stryker. Oh, we miss wow. everybody, Sean Stryker. We do miss him, but jeez, what about me and Danielle over here? All right, Tyler. Keep well, Sean, you know, Sean has it. We, we haven't seen Sean in a while. True. So, you know, let's honor him before he comes back. I think that would be a great present when he comes back. That's fair. I love it. All right, thanks, Tyler.